So I've just left the cow to scream and my challenge for today is to try and get down and see the lighthouse. Even if I get a glimpse of it, I'll be happy. Fallen Point is that bit on the map, you look at the map of Devon and it kind of goes like that. It's the most northerly point of the coast, basically. And there's lots of nice views. According to my GPS, I'm around 880 feet above sea level and that's the drop. I really don't want to go over the edge here. It's nearly 900 feet before you get to the sea. Doesn't really bear thinking about it, does it? I don't suppose there'll be much left of here. The great thing about walking along this stretch of the coast is just how quickly the views change. See that just appeared. And then there's some sharp pointy rocks down there. You see, it is dangerous. It's really quite a really steep drop over here. The edge is just there and I think it is, I think that's sheer. You see, it's when they put two signs up that you know to stay away. And look, they've got these barricades up as well. More warnings that it's dangerous. You can really see that that could potentially be fatal. Do the GPS badly. There are all ways these are I'm going to continue down this way then. First signs that I'm actually heading in the right direction. There's a road down there and some power cables. Look, there's a windswept tree. Right now I'm going to give you some Bear Grylls advice here. If you're on a path and you start to feel the ground give way beneath you, keep a low centre of gravity and don't talk into it. More indication that I'm on the right path. That and the fact there's a road leading to the lighthouse right here. That might be a big clue. Tarmac! Finally I've got tarmac. Tarmac's good to walk on. Wait a minute. I think I just realised a problem. Walkers are advised to take extreme care. The footpath beyond this point is very narrow and exposed, especially in bad weather conditions. Beware of walking to me. Well, it's a good if I don't need that path then. So, yes, where are we? Oh, there appears to be a parking lot. I don't think I've been down here. What does that mean? Does that mean I won't be able to go any further? Let's have a look. Oh! And lo, there it appears. The Fallen Point Lighthouse. It's in the middle of the day. I have reached my destination. I think it's kind of cool you could actually stay there for a vacation. Go on a boat. Look, people. And not people. And there's the reason the lighthouse is here. It's not just the lighthouse, the views are spectacular. Look at that. I can now say that I've seen Fallen Point Lighthouse. I'm quite impressed with that. Now for that problem I was talking about. According to this, I have 500 feet to walk back up. Currently, elevation is 320 feet. Say goodbye to the view. I've decided to walk back another way because I can. It's along this service road, so it should be quite an easy walk along the tarmac. That's the great thing about having a GPS. If you want to change your plans, you can by looking at the map. You don't have to carry several different Ordnance Survey maps around with you. Just one small gadget. Just because tarmac is easy to walk on doesn't stop it being steep. And that's what I've got to come. Well, I've reached the top of that climb, but I think I've still got quite a height to go. Can you tell I'm exhausted? It's really warm as well. And this is actually helping me keep cool. So, there's where I was, and there is where I'm going to. There was a hairpin bend just there, so yeah, even more walking to do. I'm gonna need a nice ice cold drink after this, aren't I? 700 feet and climbing. The bad news is, I think that the car park is at a thousand feet. I'm still on tarmac though. 800 feet and I've got a nice cool sea breeze. And that's the view. Not bad. I've got another 200 foot to go.
900 feet. So this is my turn off and the flies everywhere. It's 1000 feet and the car park. And I think now it's time for that cool refreshing drink. And that concludes the walk around Fallen Point. I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.